Okay, so, uh, <laughs> ignoring that, um, cringe intro, uh, yeah, here's the build that I was using for the parry video I was doing. Um, if you couldn't tell, uh, just by the outfit, it's based off of the, uh, the Let Me Solo Her guy, and, uh, this is also kind of, like, just, like, an idea I had after revisiting my, um, Dual Greatswords video where I was like, oh, this is the let me solo her person, you know, I put that as a thing for it, as because I thought it was funny. But then I was like, okay, I'll actually try it. So uh, this is what we got. Um, so first I should probably just go, I'll go over the armor stats first, like always. So this time around, I'm rocking the prisoner fit. I'm, I have also infused the entire prisoner set as well, as you can see with right and wrong. And you can see my stats here. I have 226 dexterity boost. I have 43 physical boost. I don't really have a lot of defense and whatever. But the basic idea is is to have just high dexterity and kind of be a glass cannon in a way almost. Uh, I also got the um, this right here, the agile ring. As not only does it give dexterity because I've also in enchanted it with a dexterity boost but it gives the ability quick witted which increases your dexterity boost based on your speed boost so that so this 24 percent speed also benefits which is why i'm a kitsune um other than that though uh we have the rage rune which is berserking you know minus one protection that's just a little bit more dexterity right there then you also get the 38% physical boost, which is pretty nice. And uh, for my, I'll explain these abilities, Royal Crits and Golden, Golden Parry, because this is my weapon, but uh, we have Vampire, which I went Vampire for mainly because I wanted to be able to heal as well and deal damage because something I was debating on doing Gladiator for this build, which to be honest, you definitely could if you wanted to. But I decided to instead just go Vampire because I'd rather heal because I'm going to be taking a lot of damage from all sources of stuff. Like especially Holy in the B dungeon. So healing off of killing stuff was a very... It was an ability that I was interested in getting. Uh, but other than that though, for my weapon, which let's just go into it right here. But basically, for my weapon, I went for the Dagger Handle, which is... You could do the Bejeweled Blade handle, which is the blade I have, but I'll go over that first. So the Bejeweled Blade is a handle that ha is a blade, sorry, that is an evolution of the Katana Blade, which is an evolution of the Sharp Blade. Now, 
What's so interesting about it is that it gives the ability parry, but it also gives the ability royal parry. Now aside from its stat boost, it scales off of a lot of dexterity, and it also gives a lot of dexterity boost. Something interesting about it is that is its royal parry ability. Now how this works is, I'll show you how it works right here, is it works as royal parry. And whenever you land a parry, you gain a bonus that makes your next attack always crit and deal bonus damage. Now basically, this is where you get like a little old yellow circle around your body, and basically every hit that you do is a guaranteed crit. And that's just after a parry. So what I like to do is when this happens, is I like to get my ability, parry and attack, say like a parry Lord Frog swing, bam, you know. I would pop Rage, like this, and then I would use my Q ability, which is Impale. Now the reason that move is so nice is because its first attack on the Impale is going to be True Damage. Now True Damage, from what I'm aware of from my Prison, uh, my prison Blade video or whatever, I'm pretty sure it just goes, it doesn't really have any like debuffs, like there's really no enemy that's like has high defenses against it. So all in all, it's just a good ability to use, when, especially when you have a crit to land a crit on it. And it also does a second attack, which is always going to do a lot of damage as well. And then what makes my crit even better is the King's Blade. Now the king, now the king's blade right here gives the ability golden crits, which makes it so that you have a 30% crit chance to have your crits do increased damage even further. Now this ability in itself is really useful, especially if you're just like having like because you're going to be dealing so much crit damage. To have an ability that makes you do even more crit damage or have a chance to is really good. Now. Another thing that you could do with this is you could do a dagger build, which like dual daggers, like khaki handle or something. That's also a good idea for this build. Um, if you wanted, you don't need to do the um, the king's blade. You could just do the bejeweled handle and another a different blade that does dexterity and crit. So there's really a lot you could do with this build. But out of all of the builds that I've like. I've done so far like out of three right now this is probably the most basic out of all of them I mean I'm gonna be making more builds in the future so uh, yeah but other than that though this is the uh, let me solo her build uh, yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below what you guys would have any ideas for builds that I should go and try out so uh, yeah I'll see y'all later thank you